Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you what I colored in my summer break. Well, most of it. So, let's take a look. Maybe some things you already saw on Instagram or in my streams, but uh, well, and I always forget something, so I'm sorry for that. But I want to start with Matchstick Mouse. Really nice, cute book. I did one in here. If I can find it. <laughs> so here it is. And he is camping. Isn't he cute? I love it. I did this one uh, with Prisma colors and a white Posca. So yeah. I love the little um, drawings. Not too much work. Uh, I saw there was a nice, cute, Christmassy one, so that's on my list. <laughs> and then I'm still working in my Inklings book. And I think I did two. Let me have a look. I, I did one that I have a... But I think I did two. I did one with a... This is the one with a colibri that I did, and I'm really happy with it. Only I did a watercolor background and the paper didn't like that, so I'm not so happy with the background, but I love my birds. Uh, so yeah, some good and some not so good things. I thought I did another one. Let me have a quick look. I forgot all about it, but I... Ah, this one, yeah. I did this one too. And here I did the whole background with pencil and that's a lot better. I like the blue from the background that's coming back in your eyes. I think that's wonderful. So maybe I can save this one and go over it with pencil. When I find the time, I will do that. So I'm getting there with this book. I think 10 pictures to go. So <laughs> maybe <laughs> next year it will be done. Then I did something in Luna. Let me see, what did I do? I finally finished this one. And I don't know, maybe I showed it before, but I saw, oh, still one missing. I saw I missed some birds and now I see I still miss one. Oh, I have to put a reminder in there. I thought I finished it now, but still missing one bird. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And I finished this one, the magnolia, and there's a golden uh, border around it. Can you see? Yeah, I think you can see it. A golden border. And the rest is all pencil. Um, I think I used mostly polish for this one. And a white Posca, of course. I really like it. I'm really happy with it. So, with that one. And then in Set McVitek from Petra Kusiatova, my book is really in a bad condition because I take it with me all the time. This one is finished. I don't know if it needs a background. I'm not sure. Maybe the colors will be better with a watercolor background, but I cannot make up my mind. But the flowers are done. Um, yeah, oh, I missed a little bit. Oh, I missed some piece. Oh my gosh, going back in with this. <laughs> you will see it another time. Um, and I did the here, this one is finished. I did a background here. It's a watercolor background. Um, I have mixed feelings about it. One time I look at it and I think, yeah, I like it. And the other thing, time I think, well, it's a mess. <laughs> So, but I love my butterflies, really happy with them. So, yeah, I love her work, you know that. That's that. And let's see what else that I missed in my pictures. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly, I know. Uh, I did this one. And this is uh, man, um, Moon... Moon, 
moon something. I have the Dutch version. Moon Valley, maybe? I don't know. Uh, and I did... There was a, a hashtag gold. And I did gold flakes on the snail. But it wasn't what I wanted to be. But well, it's there. And then I used some colors for a, like a background. But they were a little too bright for the picture. So... I, I'm I'm not at all happy with this picture well, but it's done. <laughs> Sometimes things doesn't work out the way you want them to, to do. And then I did this one, and this one I do like. It's uh yeah, a girl with birds and uh yeah, it's a little more colourful in real life than on the camera, but uh yeah, I think it's nice. I like I like this one. So I'm happy with it. So some things go better than others. <laughs> and then we have um, Eerie. And this is um, the world Beyond the World Fairy Tale. I'm still looking at another Eerie book. I have not ordered it, but um, it's tempting. Uh, and I did this. This we did uh, most of it on the stream. I'm sorry for that. And then I decided to do the other side, um, which of the north, the east, the west and the south. Um, and like I told you before, I never saw The Wizard of Oz. It's not one of my uh, stories, but uh, I hope I had a good... Uh, I, I know she is green. I didn't know exactly about the others I looked on online and I think I think it's okay. I used a stencil and distress ink for the background and I think they are nice together. So yeah, I'm I'm really happy with um with these two pages. And then Mysteria. So many Anastasia pages that are half done and I need to go back to, but this one is done. And I like the colours. I like the eyes, I like the flowers, and I did a metallic watercolor uh, background in the almost the same color as the lips and the flowers. So I think it's uh, nice. And the green is all pencil. So there is a little bit of silver on the jewelry. Can you see that? So yeah, I'm really happy with it. I like the Hair. The hair is a little bit darker in, in, in real life, Can, more like this. This is more like it. I like the eyes too. I like the eyes. I'm happy with the eyes. So, yeah, happy with this page. Need to do a lot in this book. Well, you only have so much time. <laughs> and then the Witch's Brew, I think it's called, from Hannah Carlson. Um, I finished this one that we started in the stream. I did a background with a stencil and this thread ink. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's a bit busy, but uh, it was a very empty page, so I think it's um, nice this way. And then I did another one. For Shannon's uh, anniversary, we had to do sunflowers, and this is mine. I think the yellow against the purple is nice. It's all pencil, everything. Even the purple. It, and I did, um, how do you call it? Winkle Stella on the wings. But I don't think the camera. Well, just a little. Yeah, I think a little bit. I did it over the wings. And there's a little bit gold pen on, on the key. So, yeah. A bit of a white Posca here and there. So, I think I like it. And I went for the purple because in the first one I did the purple sky. So now it's a bit of a... And this is purple. <laughs> well. <laughs> Mystica. One of my latest pictures. And it's this one. I did a very light background with a spider wrap. Uh, I did it with a fine liner and a stencil 
Uh, I didn't think it needed a lot in the background, so I'm really happy. There's a gold gel pen on the jewelry. Uh, yeah, I used, um, I think I used Prismas and Polys and Holbeins, a bit of everything. <laughs> I did um, some structure in the head on purpose. Um, because I wanted it to have uh, a feel of um, a fabric. And the same with the, the clothing here. I didn't want to do it too smooth. I want a structure in it. And I like the purple hair as a contrast with all the orange. And he is very sad because his light went out. So yeah. <laughs> you have to make something of it. And then I have Nostalgia by Goda. Goda? Something like that. And we worked on this in a stream not so long ago. Um, it's finished. But, well, I love my colors. Um, I wanted it uh, pastel colors. Uh, I'm happy with my flowers, happy with my birds, happy with the little girls. Uh, I think they are really nice. And let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I used uh, a stencil. I wanted to make trees in the background, birch trees. Uh, and I wanted it sketchy, but now it's done. I was sort of going away with it and I thought, well, it looks nice, but now I'm not so sure if I like it. Maybe it's too much. <laughs> well, it's done, so we have to live with it. No. <laughs> I like this book. This book, it's it's amazing. I love it. And oh, I want to say you, we were talking about water. I have not tried it, but the paper in this book is much thicker than in the first one. The paper is much thicker in this book. So, and then the last thing that I did, we have Rose and her friends. There's a flip through on my channel. And I did her. And I love her. Uh, this is the this page belong to, so I'm not doing a background. I think this is okay. Uh, don't think it need anything more than this. Uh, I was inspired by the cover. Uh, yeah, like it. Uh, I'm working on another one, and I was trying and want to tell you, markers. But when you use markers. The paper gets wet and it has a black background and the black 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 oh my gosh the black background is shining through and you cannot see what you've done so for me Marcus no it's not working not working for me so that's a shame because uh, I thought well let's do Marcus as as a start, I am working on, where is she, oh, I love this book, here, yeah, I started on her, so a little bit on the face, very light, a little bit on the uh, squirrel, a little bit here, just, just a few things to see where I want to go with it, uh, yeah, I, I love this book, you will see more of this book, so that was it, oh no, that's not, I did some crafting, um, here it is, from Victoria Designs, I made this and this is all um, free download. You can send an email on the YouTube, there is the link, and then you can download it and you print it. And here it is, there are little pockets where you can put something in. And in the video, she explains all what you have to do. This is going to be a little book. I have to put more papers in. I want to make papers with coffee stains and I didn't find the time yet because my blue is ill like you maybe know. So yeah, it's not working at the moment, but I will do it. And then here you have a waterfall with pockets and in every pocket there's a little booklet for 
a note or a picture or something that you can do in there. So use a free download, you print it yourself on paper that you like. And she has a lot of projects for free, so take a look at the website and she sells beautiful paper in her Etsy shop, so it's really nice. And then there's this one, I think it's called the Haunted House or Halloween, I'm not sure. Uh, I think Haunted House, and here you have something with a nice... Uh, you can put a picture in and then you have these flap outs with pockets and each one has a secret pocket over here where you can put something in so here's another one pockets and again that secret pocket over here and this one secret pocket over here and you can fold it out more pockets and this one pockets over here and a secret pocket here and then you have something in the back where you can put something and then it closes with a little ribbon in my summer break I also finished my um, Sleeping Beauty album but there is a separate video of that so you if you want to see it you can look for that one so thank you oh one more one more thing <laughs> i made my first shaker card i've never done it before so this is one for christmas let it snow and i don't know can you see you can shake it and everything there's stars and snow and you know crystals and it opens up like this I have to make uh, something with Merry Christmas, but I will do that later. So um, there's a nice uh, glittery foam on this. So that's my first Christmas card that I made of the year. So thank you for watching. Maybe till next time. Bye for now.